Hey everybody, it's Benjamin here at the Centitar Fragrance Channel, coming back at you again with another fragrance review. More fragrances, more colognes, yes, more scents, never ends. So today we're going to be talking about Ode to Aphrodite from Paz Sets. So this is a beautiful fragrance. This is one of my favorites from the brand. I'm happy to be able to bring this one to you today. And of course, I do want to tell you all that these fragrances from Paz Sets were sent to me for review so take this with a grain of salt if you'd like but i do love this fragrance so what we're getting here is sage sea like sea sea notes sea qualities uh sea salt and uh sage and lemon and uh and the synthetic ambergris accord it's a very nice fragrance it's uh it's a very nice aquatic with a it's so wearable it's so beautiful and if i forgot to tell y'all the story it's an ode to aphrodite which an ode is like a respect uh, or like a, a memory to Aphrodite so this is more of her I would think you know coming out of the ocean with her story you know kind of the sea salt and the brine and uh, the seaweed maybe you know on her shoulders and the sea foam you know she would you know all that kind of stuff so I think this is a beautiful really nice aquatic uh, or more of an oceanic fragrance it's very wearable. It's a little bit salty. The ambergris is a big player in this fragrance. It's not overtly citrusy or oak mossy, but you know it does add a little bit of character and a little bit of complexity up for certain. Now, I was I I personally when I thought of the name of this fragrance, sometimes you can deceive yourself. It's an ode to Aphrodite, and you know Aphrodite is essentially the goddess of uh, beauty. And all those kinds of things. So I was thinking that this was going to be a feminine fragrance. And sometimes you can't let yourself get deceived. This is perfectly unisex. Guys and gals and anybody can wear this. I love more masculine leaning fragrances. And this stuff is perfectly wearable. It just smells like a more of a lighter, e more easygoing uh, ocean fragrance. It is, uh, it is to me, a little, of course, the musky and the slightly salty nuances come out with the ambergris, but it's uh, it's very much on the soft side of ambergris. Ambergris can have different textures and different tones. This is more of like a skin-like uh, ambergris. So it's like skin-like, and it's very nice. The, it's one of those second skin kind of smells. Um, honestly, there's some things out there that try to do that, like eccentric molecules, where they're just selling aroma chemicals for a huge markup on their price. Um, I think that this is beautiful stuff. I think that this is certainly worth your time and your money. If you want more of an aquatic fragrance that's not particularly blue or particularly shouting for attention, and if you want something uh, more on the indie side, um, this is very, very wearable and very, very versatile. Um, I'm not saying that this is going to be a big compliment getter, but let's talk about the longevity first. On my skin, it does seem to be a little bit more of a laid-back fragrance or reserved. It doesn't project a lot on my skin. It's more of a uh, maybe slightly below average uh, projection. It just doesn't project that much, but it's not bad. I really like the tone, and I really like the, uh, scent, the, the feel of this fragrance. Um, I honestly get more of five or six hours of longevity, but it's an ambergris style, so it really lingers on and on and on as a skin sit. It like you know takes forever for it to go away. So um, I don't want to say that it lasts for ten hours or something. You expect that it's really going to be noticeable to you. Uh, probably after the four or five hours or so, you'll probably forget about it. But if you get close to somebody. Or maybe if your skin heats up a little bit, somebody might uh, detect it off of you. And I think it's really nice for an incognito fragrance, perfect for the office, perfect for airports or traveling, or whenever you want to be a little bit inoffensive. It's a really, really nice smell. But again, to me, this is not a really as much of an ocean fragrance as it is a skin fragrance, uh, a second skin kind of fragrance. To me, that's what I get out of it. Uh, you might feel like it's a little bit more like an ocean scent, uh, but I get more of a skin kind of uh, style of fragrance uh, to me. And that might seem weird, but it actually is a really, really nice thing. Just think about when you got out of the ocean, uh, you know, you took, you went uh, to the beach and to the ocean, and when you got out and you dried off, and the smell of your skin with the sea salt and, uh, you know, the ozonic kind of smell that's, in, you know, on your skin. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. Very well done. Very well created fragrance. Compliment factor wise, I, I, to me, this is more of a summer fragrance. I, 
I'm, I'm really going to pull this sample out and be wearing this, you know, in the, you know, in the summer months and really getting more of a feel for this fragrance. But uh, in the colder months, this stuff especially just does not project too much. And um, I really did, because I like to match my fragrances with the season, I haven't gotten a lot of wear out of this one, honestly. But um, it's a nice, it's a nice smell. And if you get close to people, um, if you're, you know romantically involved or close to somebody i think that they will find this very nice it might just uh you they might just say that you smell really nice and they might just think it's you smelling naturally really nice uh when you are wearing a fragrance so this is another incognito fragrance you're just going to smell very very natural you're not going to smell like you're wearing a cologne or like you're smelling perfumey or anything like that so i really like that about this fragrance there's not a lot of fragrances in my experience that pull that off so this one does it so price wise you know you can look into it i'll link it down below um, you can get a 10 mil around the 40 dollar range uh, for a roll-on so that, that's going to last you a long time it's a highly concentrated oil i think their prices are pretty reasonable but for the quality and i do like this brand so check out this one this is one of my favorites from the brand no doubt about it check out ode to aphrodite by Paw Sets. Again, if you like my content today, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, tell a friend. And when you do hit that notification bell, hit all notifications so you don't miss out on any of my content. So I'll see you next time, my friend. This is the Centaur Fragrance Channel. This is Benjamin here. Wear what you love, rock what you got. And I'll see you next time, everybody. And bye.